Hi guys, welcome back. Today, Adam is popping his fuse board cherry. <laughs> so, let me just spin this round. So what we've got here is old MEM board, uh, 16th edition, uh, one RCD covering the sockets, and then no RCD protection on lighting. Um, what this is, a customer that I have worked for before, um, friend of the family, we're putting a designated socket, which is gonna be, um, oh, wrong way going to be down there for the uh, telecom stuff so all the internet wide internet that sort of stuff uh, yeah 20 way fuse box board so it's going to go on there we're going to come out from the right hand side in some white conduit um, we're going to try and get it as close we've reason we've gone 20 ways so we can keep the footprint the same bring it a bit more across this way drill it out conduit across the back and down to the designated socket down there um, so there's a, I've run a few, few things outside, the meter cupboard is outside. All right, Adam's just going through a few things. So what we're going to do to start with is go around, test most of the things. I had no previous property inside that anyway, because I've obviously worked here before. Um, it's very straightforward. The house is only 25, 30 years old, I think, if not a bit newer. Um, so the wiring's sweet as already. Uh, we've got an old test sheet here, condition report that someone has already done prior to doing this, so uh, it's a good basis to work off, but we'll go around and triple check stuff first. Then I'll be knocking the power off, and then Adam will be uh, having a sweet time. What's that? Surge protection device. Sweet, what's that? Main isolator. Sound. What's that? Yeah, neutral bar. What's that? Earth bar. What's that? Uh, din rail. Yes. Yeah. And then, what's that? Goodies. Little sweet snack. Um, right, so we'd knock the power off properly in a minute. Um, I've just pulled the lid off and marked the cables for Adam for that. We're about to knock the power off. We've got, you. I don't know which video is going to come out yet, but I got given this um, massive power bank to test and, and try out. And it's one of these jobs that's going to come in perfect because both the customers are working from home. I could plug the router straight back into this. This will last 12 hours. Um, with the you've either got USB fronts, USB C, and on the back you've got two 240 outputs. So we used it the other day on a job to, to test um, charge the batteries, but I can plug the router back into it and an extension lead for laptops to charge. It means we can change the fuse one to the power off, and uh, customers still work from home. So that's a good bonus. So I'll, I'll do a proper video on it at some point. Um, so once that's on, we're gonna still getting used to this gimbal. Pull this off. Uh, Adam's just run through what circuits are what. So we're gonna have 11 or 12 circuits on here. Obviously it's a 20 way board, so I'll give us enough room to get as close to the wall as possible. I'm gonna let Adam get on with this in a bit while I'm doing the uh, conduit outside. But um, we'll, uh, say we'll, we'll, we'll knock everything off in a bit. Two pole isolate, we'll use the locking off kit outside. So uh, I don't have to explain to Adam's mom why he's been cooked. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, give us a couple of minutes and we'll have the power off. Right, locking off the kit's on. Adam's not going to die. That's that. I just managed to use my new uh, Levera um, meter cupboard keys, which came in very handy. So we're going to see what Adam's getting on. One thing I've told Adam to do is to always be useful. Take a picture of the fusible beforehand with your cables you see the little markers on the black markers so we've got a ref and i'm just using his new uh bearer stuff so he's got the uh, full screwdriver set of fuse board stuff and then his own set of these ones what's he got in here a few bits and bobs sweet little uni light on the side do yeah, um, use that one and this one. So I'll keep that one in there and you can... Uh, best thing is you've got two handles, oh. so you can keep that one as a fuse board one. Uh, uh, MCB one. RCBO one. Whatever, I'll get there in the end. So, what Adam's just done now, we've just uh, we've gone around find out what's what on the house. He's um, connected through both the rings. That's another thing for me. What's that, mate? Is that one? No, that'll go in there, yeah. Let's get a bit of force, that's it. So he's disconnected everything, pulled everything out, 
Uh, we've obviously tested the main tails, used the proving unit with the continuity tester. He's happy with that. So he's just going to take his first fuse board off. See the gaping hole we've got in the back. We're going to have to do rear entry ad. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> no. Um, and as soon as he starts sort of measuring up the new one, I can drill a hole outwards and I can do my bit. But uh, right, the bottom two out, yeah. Yeah. Do the top ones just to get Yeah, in. just do them halfway, and then they'll um, lift the board up, and it should just lift off. That's it. Try the other side, mate. I'm going to try and let you do this as much as on your own as I can. Um, but obviously, any questions? I know you're not shy of asking questions. That sound should pull up, and if you give it a bit of a twist and tug, everything should sort of fall into place. Normally, I'd say you cut the tails, but because we need to reuse that, we want as much length on as possible. So, that's your old MEM one. I have a guy, a guy message me on Instagram saying, any old board you take off, can you send to me? I need to try and find who that was, actually. Yes, I'd love to, but I don't really fancy paying shipping constantly to do it, but hey hey. Right, so best thing to do now, what do you think is the best thing to do now? Sort your cables. Sort your cables out, so, Find as much length as you can, separate them into singles to so put your live neutral and earth together. Sorry, your line neutral and CPCs together, Adam. You must be taught correctly because they're not an earth. So obviously we want to get this edge as close to this line, if not on it. So Adam's pulled everything straight. He's going to go, uh, what, what, what? Which way are you going to do it, Ad? Uh, probably go middle and left one. What's that called, though, when you do it that way? Rear entry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's sort of, that's the way it's going to go. The tails will reach. Your bonding and your earthing will be fine for the earth bar. Um, so you'll knock them out. What are you going to put when you knock them out? What are you going to put around that? Uh, grommet strip. Yeah, some uh, grommet edging strip. And then uh, once you do that, we can sort of tape these together, feed it through, and then we can find out our fixing points. But this is an old, it's it's wooden lined building. It's ply lining it all, and it's the same in the kitchen. So it must be the type of houses. I haven't really come across that before. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll get that knocked out. You can grommet strip that up, and you can appreciate how difficult it is. It's all right, mate, as long as most of the edges are covered that sound there's no sharp bits on there um right now you've done that i think the best thing what i would say get cables, fix it. tape a few cables together so make it a bit easier to feed through through the two separate holes so figure out which one you want to put through on the right which one on the left yeah. Adam has said, oh yeah, I'll let you say it. So normally what I would do on my boards, which you've all seen, I've done hundreds of them now, is, I'll flip this over. So main switch, I would just sort of start with my highest RCBOs, then to, you know, my 40, 32, 26s. Adam's, of his own mind, has said, most of the six, uh, six amp, most of the lighting circuits come out in the middle. So he's going to start with the sixes and the twenties and then go to the thirty twos, which is a good shout really. Uh, I said this in other videos, whether or not they're yet to come out yet, I can't remember. Of some people have said if you put all the higher load circuits, so you've got your your forties and your thirty twos together, they're going to be hotter and warmer than your other ones. So should you be clumping them up all together next to your main switch? I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think, but I just do it out of neatness so you can see, you know, you've got your higher loads, the medium to your lower loads, but that's just me. I'd say tape them more near the ends, dude. Yeah? Because these are the bits that's going to catch, not this. That's fine where it is, obviously yeah. you can untape it afterwards, but if you, you're happy, you then that's quite easy to pull yeah. through, and that is. So, uh... I'll let you struggle with this bit. I'll just film you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the worst part about this is once you put it on, you have to take, take it back, back off and then put it back on again. 
but we need to find out a level for me to drill outwards. So it's definitely got to come up again anyway. Yeah? Up a bit. There should be loads of slack on them, so you should be able to yeah, give them a good yank. I think it's because the tape's not come through at the minute. Yeah. So if you're happy with that, it's covered up this side. I wouldn't say you need a level. I'd say eye off the coving because that's the main thing that's gonna you're gonna see it from. Do you want me to pass you a top? Yeah? Happy with the I mean you've got enough lights on you. Yeah. A uni light there. Big uni light there. It's all done. Conduit comes through the wall over there. It's come straight out the other side. It means I can start doing stuff. Yeah. Not that I'm not enjoying doing nothing. I'm sick of going to the van. Oh my god, he keeps sending me to the van to get stuff. It sucks. Technically, yeah. Well, that should slide. Look how perfect I've done that, look. Delicious. Uh, same fish one. Excuse me? You <laughs> swear? Yeah. You better not have. I'll give you a dead leg. Am I going to do this? This is going, this is... Uh, what, no, do you need to go over a bit? How no, much I, by? This, this... What, needs to go a bit higher? But you can lift that side it. up, that's fine. No, it's like bending the pipe, then. That's fine. Yeah. Bends the pipe, bends the pipe. Conjure it. Damn. Put one screw in first. So you get your one up here. So I'll just make sure I'm getting the other. Yeah. Okay. And one thing I will say is just watch that. You might want to just push that back on. Yeah. As you're pulling it through. Sound. Cool. Yeah, can do. Right. Explain to everyone what you've just done, please. Um. What? The mess up? What right. mess up? Oh, no. It's all, all that I'm done. The, the earth were brought through in the right and all. It's just moving across the left. So you've separated out right hand side, left hand side, What? Yeah. where you want your circuits, yeah? Yeah. So what have you got on the right hand side? Just briefly, you don't have to name them all. Uh, so. We've just got like, lighting, so like one part of cables. Yeah, I, th I think I think they're one mil, mate. I know they might be one five. Ignore yeah. me. Mate, well, it doesn't matter, whatever. So you pull them through, and more than enough slack on that. Yeah. Left hand side, what have we got there? Uh, two five cables, so like your 20s and your 16 amp breakers. Well, and 32s. Yeah, and there's a cooker there as well, yeah? Six yeah. mil. And then we got our... 16 mil main yeah. earth, yeah? Yeah. And then what mil are these? 10 mil. Yeah, and they go to what? Um, your gas and water. That's it, yeah. Um, so what do you want to do for you? You just want to get them in out of the way, yeah? Yeah, get these in out of the way. Okay. Um, and then I would recommend, I'm not going to tell you how to do anything other than this, get your tails done. Because they're a pain in the ass. They're heavy. They're not the flexi tails either, so they're the, the old, very difficult ones to bend. Yeah. So we'll get them in. You, Adam said all, originally when we took it off, why, just move you around a second, why have the tails been like that? Are you not meant to strip it back? Obviously, normally you would strip back. I would. You don't have to. You would strip back, I don't know, an inch of the grey insulation to re reveal what colour conductor it is. Um, so I think you want to do that, don't you, mate, to make it a bit more visual, more visually pleasing, and obviously you can see what's what. Um, so, yeah, you're going to start doing that. What, what I'm going to do... I'll spin you around so you can see my beautiful face for a bit. Um, I'm going to get Adam set up. We've got the RCBOs out ready. So he's going to pretty much crack on with that all by himself. If there's any questions, he'll come out to speak to me. I'll pop in every little bit to, to video and see how he's getting on. Um, this is his board. This is, he can do it as neat as he wants. You know, I've done so many of these, so it's there's a system to it. You've watched me quite a few times, haven't you? Yeah. how I would do it, but well, you find your own way, find your system, it doesn't have to be the neatest thing in the world, as long as everything's correctly identified, it's in the right place, and also it's done to the correct torque setting, which we'll run through at the end, then it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll run you outside and see what I'm going to do. Right, so this is my fabulous bit now. So the hole's just there, conduit's just... Oh, I need to get him to push it out a bit more. It's going to go straight across. We were, originally we were going to go down and across but because you've got the gas and the water and also the feed there that feeds the garage um we're just going to go high level straight across and then that's where the comm stuff is there so i think i'm going to put the socket 
this side so we'll just do some conduit straight down there but i go on the inside i'll drill out exactly where i want the conduit to come through and then uh, i can work off that back at it again mr adam okay it's working now, yeah so all right shift straight over so we'll have a loop so get your tails in yeah, you got your all your RCBOs in sound. Yep. You put it in order from six to twenty to thirty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just explain to everyone what you're doing with the, them. That's it, because they're obviously flapping. No, the uh, lines. These. Yeah. So uh, I'm joining these into the RCBOs and then getting a nice straight. So they go straight up, and I'm going to bend them, bend them back yep. like them, like the neutral. No, what's it called? Links. What's that? What's going on? Oh yeah, your neutral fly, your fly leads. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, across them. Right, so get a bend like that. Yeah. Neutral. Bend them down there and hide them, but making sure that the grey is still in the box. Okay, sound. Yeah, you got your 16 mil. Nice and neat, mate, nice. Yeah. Right. Crack on, dude. I'll uh, turn the radio back on after I've left, all right. <laughs> Gonna have to stop recording. Oh, hey. Do, 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 do. This is what I've been doing. Right, clips are all in, box is on, it's going down, it actually lands the other side. I'm just going past this. So that lands there, so it's coming straight up, across, it's going 90 across, you're in there. This has got conduit that feeds through there, same with the one up there. So that's just going to go straight through. So there's an inspection elbow going to go whoop, all the way up there. And uh, I'll get some fish tape through and we'll pull it through. So I'm just going to get these cut to, to length. Also, I might add, um, I just picked up the new, this is the XL bag. So I've got two of the normal to go. Adam's got to go. And this is the XL one. So what I've done with this one, this has got so first fix tools so grips chisels this is what i need now conduit cutters hammer screwdrivers i don't mind smashing up bolt level um lump hammer pipe slice files so that comes in handy because obviously you want a bigger bag and i've got all the sections to so they can be pulled out to divide it got one of the front pockets which has got full of drill bits um Whole, uh, whole, whole cutters, obviously 20 mil or 25 mil, stubby screwdrivers, marksmen's. On the side, I've got the precision screwdriver set, and then on that side is the um, socket set, my very fancy socket set, which is ace. But I will now. I've got what I would say my full set of first fixed bag. Second, what's that, mate? Did you take my red pipe? Which one? CK. Oh, put them in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah, so now I've got all the bags. I don't have any other ones. The Stanley Toe ones, open toe ones are gone. Um, this is my full setup now. I will be doing a video on everything um, with my Nipex stuff, my Vera stuff, uh, the bags run through all my different bits and bobs. Some of you might have already seen it on the GSH electrical channel, but I only had the bag a week when that video was filmed and obviously that's that was quite a few months ago now so now i've got a system i've got i know i know how to use all the tools now uh, i said a stupid thing about the the pair of grips the flat pair of grips that they were for plumbers they're not they're electricians ones where they don't mark the edge of glands and whatnot so keep an eye out but i will be doing a bag uh, a bag review slash bag run through uh, at some point right my bit's finished now conduit bum 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 down through there, happy with that. I've just gone and changed. I'm just going to change the outside light at the back for a lantern, so we put another one of these on. And I've also just changed the bathroom light. Let's go and have a look how Adam's getting on. Honey, I'm home. Still here, bro? Yeah. Right, let me try not to get my. We do this. There we go. Sound? It's looking right. I just need to get these last one. Well, last few in them. Sort this. It's looking good, mate. Sound. So you got all your light in. Then you got was it three radials? Yeah, three twenties. And then the one you've got there is my one coming through the conduit, which is going to be corked around because it's 
a little bit messier than I wanted it to be. Um, and then you've got two rings and a six mm Yep. Sound. Just the sound. Right, put that back up there for you now. And then this is through to my socket, which is that one. So I will put a label on this saying um, fed from own circuit. This is going to stay, whether or not it's going to become a Hoover socket, but it, there's this big cabinet goes over it. So, or we just um, connect it in the back and just put a blank plate on it. Um, the reason for all this, I don't know if I explained at the beginning, is all the telecom stuff, they're having issues with the Wi Fi. The telecom people come out, I don't know if it's BT or whoever, and said there's too much noise on the circuit with having issues with. So the extension lead was run from here to the cooker, the cooker's on its own circuit, and it worked fine. So I said, well, if it's on the ring, which it is, or it's attached to the kitchen socket, you know, you've got a lot of earth leakage going through the different appliances, so quite a few computers in the household. Um, that's the only thing I could sort of think of. You know, the data cables and the power aren't run together, so there should be no interference there. But we've put our own socket on, on its own RCBO, on the board. So, fingers crossed that should solve the problem. Um, being a 20 way board, we need some blanks, and we only have four, and we need eight, nine. Uh, so, I'm just going to uh, Adam's going to be left here by himself. You're okay, mate, it's fine. You got your rape alarm, yeah? Yeah, sound. Um, I'm going to leave him here, just going to nip to wholesale to get some stuff. Um, I've got the key for the lock off kit, so there's no way you're turning it back on. Ha, and um. Yeah, we'll get them, we'll come back, and fingers crossed, you might, oh, I'm about to show you my watch, I've not got it on, see how, see how we're looking, but it's looking good mate, I'm impressed. Right, back from the wholesaler, we've had to have a bit of a rush on, I've got to get the kids at three, so we've done the test we need to do, Adam's just getting this all on now, so he's gone around with the torque screwdriver, obviously that's a torque as well, and what settings that need to be at, Adam? Too far for this. Okay. I think you've done a good job, mate. I do. Cheers. Obviously, I know what it's like with the cave. You're not too happy with them ones, are you? The ones on the no, left. No, these ones. Are not um, really cool. But it's just experience, mate. All does the same thing, and you can easily identify which cable runs to which breaker. Sorry, RCBO. Um, we've gone across. I've labelled the board up. So, because this is on show, we put all the labels hidden, really. So we'll fill the circuit details in as and when we can. Do you think there's enough things with my uh, my logo on it? There's one on the other side as well. So I printed the labels off, which are there, which we're gonna stick on in a minute. Um, and we'll start doing our live test shortly. Um, I just need to put the camera away, really, and, and crack on with things before. I miss the school run and get severely told off by my other half. And the kids. And also it's raining now as well, so. Joys. Um, I can push this back now. I can strap that up. I put the sticker on it, saying that it's on its own circuit. Power banks come in absolutely awesome. Um, just kept the, uh, kept the Wi-Fi on all day for my customers. So yeah, a little bit more time up to do. A few more tests. Are you done? Sorry. Have you got on with it? All right. Enjoyed yeah. it? To a degree? Yeah, it's fine, just getting used to it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like I say, it's, it's uh, been good for me. Adam's been doing this while I've been, I've been doing Adam's jobs, <laughs> putting lights up and uh, changing a few things and grabbing things from the van. Um, it's been good. I say I want to try and give Adam as much opportunity as I can to get as much experience as we can, um, like I got. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, give you a shout back in a minute once we're, uh, we're near enough done. Adam's just been giving cakes now, aren't you, mate? They're in there. Cake man, he's here. Um, yeah, finished product. I need to come back, stick the stickers on properly, finish off all the labelling and whatnot. But really chuffed. Going outside, there's an egg socket with it plugged in down there now. Um, yeah, chuffed. I done, mate. Cool, we got Ad. Oh, we're gonna go drop my Don't drop them. What have we got here? Oh, oh, oh hang on. Oh, I've done it again. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Which one's yours, Ad? None of them. Yeah. You put a bit of weight on, mate. I wouldn't I wouldn't to put it. <laughs> uh right, spin around that way. 
thank you all for watching adam superstar more to come with ad and uh we'll see you soon